Today we're going to discuss a rather peculiar specimen that has garnered skepticism and controversy. The Atacamite Mouse. A specimen of a mouse that has been completely mineralized by Atacamite, a peculiar copper mineral. We'll also discuss the arguments for and against its authenticity. But first, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and then hitting the real subscribe button, that nice little bell, so I can continue to bring you even more interesting Earth science content. Also, I'm very excited for this particular month's Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club. Recipients will receive not one, not two, but three examples of this particular mineral, and one of them is something that people have been practically begging me for. Your third and final hint for this month is that its name is derived from the color blue. Got that? Aluminum, metamorphic, and blue. Take a moment right now to toss me your guess in the comments below, and let's get into this. The Atacamite Mouse is a unique specimen on display at the Fersman Mineralogical Museum in Moscow, Russia, and has been on display since 1913. There is practically zero consensus on the authenticity of this bizarre piece. Some experts believe it's genuine, others that it's a hoax. So if this is real, what is the mechanism that likely caused it? Feifel didn't go far enough west and drank copper contaminated water on a trip, expiring the rodent. The copper in the water reacted with the mouse's body to form atacamite, a copper chloride hydroxide mineral which slowly replaced the soft tissues of the mouse over time. This process took several years and eventually encased the mouse in atacamite. This is a rare, bizarre, and unusual specimen. It is one of very few examples of an animal that has been completely mineralized. However, there is speculation that this could be a hoax. So here are the arguments for and against authenticity. In the red corner, in favor, the Atacamite mouse has been displayed for over a hundred years at a reputable museum. The mouse is completely mineralized. The fur and teeth are still visible, which suggests it was not artificially mummified. And finally, the specimen has been examined by experts, and they've concluded that it's genuine. In the blue corner, against, there is no documentation of the mouse's discovery. There are no other known examples of mammals that have been mineralized in toto. The body of the mouse is in perfect condition. Well, as perfect as can be for the deceased, but that's unlikely if it was naturally mummified. And finally, the origin of this specimen is entirely unknown. Some have speculated that this mouse may have been poisoned by chemicals in a lab or production facility and mineralized that way. Others that this is an entirely natural yet rare specimen. But what do you think of the attack of my mouse? Have you ever heard of it before? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.